<laughs> this is another gym rat classic. Yeah, yeah. Workout fantastic. This pump is gigantic. All right, so we got the classic breakfast right here, man. This is this is a Whitaker strength classic. Easy oats, right? Heat it up. That's two packets of the cinnamon oats. Love that. And I got about a cup and a half or so of some yogurt. That looks like a little bit more than a cup and a half. And I got the water. The reason why I like that right there, the oatmeal, is just because it's one, quick, simple, easy, and it's a whole heck of a lot better than just eating oatmeal raw with nothing on it, not even cooked, which is what I used to do. I literally just used to pour the oatmeal in the bowl, put a little water in, eat it like cereal. But this is 300, three, so we're about like 600 calories or so here for the first meal. All right, so we're back with meal number two right here. Once again, back with the Scooby snack, slightly toasted banana. Um, and this meal definitely looks like something that my mom would pack me for school. All right, guys, so before the workout, per usual, I'm gonna have some pump here. So for legs, I gotta go ahead and stop by work before I go and get my pump up on, but gorilla mode. Tiger blood. Flavor's not bad. Flavor is not bad, but I never really was one to care about the flavors. I never really cared about the flavor of anything really that I ate as long as I had a goal, a purpose for it. Never really mattered to me. I don't sip this, I chug it. Oh, that's the pump supplement by the way. God, you <laughs> Oh my gosh. There's yeah. a lizard Who on the- attack those lizards? So I chug this and I have that super set it with the honey. That's how I about measured it out. Mm -hmm. And that should do us good. Mm hmm that is. And we started off correctly. No, I'm not sponsored by him, but I, I sure will take one in the future for sure. If they came through with a supplement offer, best believe I'd take it. Mm. I don't know, actually. Why wouldn't you? Well, not that I wouldn't, but the deal would have to be set up to where if I accept it, um, that it's an open deal because back when I was making a lot of music when I was younger, um, I studied up on all these deals, like what rappers would get, you know, what is signing bonuses and that, like just like little intricate stuff. I just want to see like what, how other companies operate, you know, what is their deal? What's the Intel? And usually if you sign a big label, um, signed to a big label and you have a deal, they'll say, all right, I'll give you a million, two million, and you have to put out like three albums, right? So you get that two to three million and you know, when it gets thrown to you at first, you're thinking, oh my gosh, this is so much money. And usually the people that make it is usually people that come from poverty. So they never really seen big money ever. So as soon as they see something that's worth it, they're like, I got to take it, got to have that. The reason why I'm saying this and how it kind of relates is I wouldn't want the first deal that's thrown at me so I get locked in because if I do end up making my own supplement line, which is a goal of mine, then I'd be pocketing more of the money. And honestly, most of these supplements, most of the people, they get their supplements from all the same people, all the same manufacturers, man. I mean, at the end of the day, same thing with a lot of other things, right? So I do want to have my own line. That would be goal number one. But in the meantime, while I'm building up, come through. I'll take anything. I will take that. I mean, who, who's going to deny free protein powders, free energy drinks, free pre-workouts, free creatine? No, who would deny that? Well, I mean, and you like the 
Mm-hmm. I dig it. Hit me up. But yeah, the deal would have to be open where I come in, I can leave at any time though, if I need to. And most deals aren't structured that way. That's actually one of the big reasons why I respected Rich Piana is because watching a video of his on Amazon, and it's pretty much just like one of his Bigger by the Day or Better by the Day series. It's pretty much just a vlog, kind of going through the steps. He's talking about business. He's talking to a bodybuilder who's in actually ridiculous shape. And he said, hey, listen, I'll give you a deal. You come in. You can leave whenever you, uh, you want. We can also pretty much drop you whenever we want, though. So, I mean, there's that is what it is, though. I mean, they're giving you a, a certain freedom that not every bodybuilder athlete would have. You know, if you get locked in a deal, you can't go anywhere. Case in point, Kanye. When he signed with Nike at first, I think it was like two, three years before he was, in, he was even able to put out a single shoe. So he was so frustrated with his Nike deal that it just ended up got terminated. He put out the Route of October's, a shoe before that, and then he was just hibachi. He didn't want anything to do with it. He grew up wearing Nikes, and then he then got a deal with Adidas, and Adidas gave him creative control, gave him freedom. So that is the number one concern is, okay, I want to have some form of freedom. Would there be creative control in, in a supplement line? No, I'm not going to have any creative control with this. No, I don't necessarily need that. But I definitely want a freedom with it. Maybe they'll be like, hey, Dane. Um, we want no to, freedom. We <laughs> yeah. want you to collab with us and make a flavor, and it'll be in your Oh, that'd game. be cool. That would be cool. Um, I don't know. I mean, dude, this black cherry vanilla flavor is pretty hard to top. So I have no clue how I I'd do even. An orange vanilla flavor. Orange, ooh, like a creamsicle. Hmm. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, that does sound good. Yeah. What else? What else would be a good flavor on that? Raspberry. Um, like I look forward to taking the first sip of this. I get excited. You know, I have like an hour to clock out before my shift, and I'm like, man, I cannot wait to take the first sip of this. But yeah, I'd need creative control. Or I'm not creative control. I'd need freedom with it. Which is also why I, I wouldn't take a sponsorship from... I probably wouldn't take a sponsorship from a clothing line. And I say probably because, you know, you never know. I never say never. But most likely not just because I'm promoting someone else's stuff. And I'd way rather just promote my stuff, just create my own thing. You know, it's definitely hard. So, I mean, companies are going to say, oh, well, it's so hard to get up off the ground. It's so hard to create your own line. It's so hard to create your own supplements. You got to do this. You got to do that. And they kind of corner you and say, like, we already have it all planned for you. Just come on, just rep our stuff. You know, if you want to do that, go ahead. No, no shame in that. You know, I mean, you're getting your free clothing. You're getting sponsored. They're probably handing you some cheese on the side. That's all cool. But I just have a bit, a uh, bit of a different vision of what I'd want to do. You know, not to say that there's clothing brands that don't allow you freedom. I think Young LA still allow, uh, still allows you to, to have freedom with what you uh, create. I know Alex Eubank is with uh, Young LA, and it looks like he still has his own clothing from Elysium. I think that's his own brand. So it looks like he's still putting out his own stuff. So you never know. But I like my designs better than anyone else's. That's just me. Like my own stuff. I might try to toy around it and and find out though how to who to hit up. Like I don't know. I don't. I don't even know what it's called. But supplement line. But that's far down the line right now for sure. And the only thing on my mind right now is legs. So my goal is deadlifts today. Now, I haven't consistently trained deadlifts in, mm, man, it's been, it's been a while. I think the last time I consistently trained a conventional deadlift was maybe a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago is when I consistently was training that. Um, 
and I did a lot of deficit deadlifts. The reason why I like deficit deadlifts is because greater range of motion. So when you go back to a regular version, it's going to be easier. But today I'm going to warm up with back extensions. I might do it with the back rounded just to get a little bit more glute and hamstring. Activate that, stretch out the hips, see how that feels. Go straight into conventional deadlifts. Build up. See how 405 feels. What are you looking at? You said you're doing deadlifts with a rounded back. Uh, I'm doing back extensions with a rounded uh, back, but you can definitely no, you can definitely do deadlifts with a rounded back. So like when I say rounded back, like um, if any of you guys ever see me do a zercher deadlift, I mean my back's all the way like this. I'm, I'm scooping the weight up off with my elbows, and I'm standing up, and my back's completely rounded. That doesn't necessarily mean it's unhealthy or it is dangerous. Soviet Russians were doing that movement for years. You know, if you look at any of their training for wrestling, they're doing zercher deadlifts with fairly heavy weight. They're not going really heavy. It's more a thing of explosiveness, but no, for convention deadlift is just regular form. No deficit here today. I'm gonna see how four or five feels. I am cutting weight, so it's kind of stupid to think I'm gonna go hit a crazy PR. I haven't done any deadlifts though in a while, so we'll see how it feels. The thing with training is if you're doing a conventional deadlift and you want to get stronger at that one, there are certain movements that you can do that's going to help build it up, right? Case in point, a good morning is going to help your conventional deadlift go up tremendously. RDLs is going to help tremendously. And then I would say anything that's going to help strengthen the hamstrings, a glute ham, ham raise, 100% any hamstring curl, get stronger at that, that's gonna help support it. So anything like a bench press, how do you get a stronger bench press? Sometimes it's not about benching. Sometimes it's about the supporting exercises, it's about the assistance. It's about, okay, well, if I wanna get stronger at bench, maybe I need to look at my weaknesses. And most people's weaknesses when it's benching is their upper back. And they're like, how the heck does that have anything to do with benching? It has a lot because your back is gonna help support you is gonna help stabilize the motion. So if I get warm up lats and I'm on my bench and for some whatever reason, close grip feels better for me. I feel way more stable. I guess maybe it's just closer. I get a better like cinch down in the lat. But if my lats are stable, tucked in and tight, then I can just explode that weight up. So getting a stronger upper back and that comes from just anything. You can do machine rows, you can do barbell rows. A lot of people love barbell rows for that. Um, weighted dips is excellent for benching specifically close grip though and then close grip is also going to help your regular bench go up so i mean it's kind of a it's that's why i like working out so much is it's kind of a science to say okay what lifts help each other out what's the best routine that works out for me and balancing that out and that just takes time you know you can't walk in the gym and automatically do everything right um, more often than not even when you are doing everything right there's probably something that's still wrong as long as you give full out intensity to your training, to your lifts, that's always a good start. What are you doing? Nice. What do you got though? Say it to the people. Mm -hmm. I have uh, hip thrusts. Oh, actually they might not hear you as well with this. You said you're doing hip thrusts? Um, Romanian deadlifts. Romanians. Back extensions. With the back rounded for the glute hamstring. Um, and then the kickbacks. Kickback. And Solid. Hit. Oh, yeah. I thought you were doing the hamstring curls. Oh, yeah. Because it's hammy, so yeah, you're yeah. not doing the hip thing today because yeah, yeah, that's on. Yeah. yeah, we talked about this like last night. And in, in, in full, yeah. I'm feeling good though. I'm feeling solid. I got a little over a thousand calories in me. I would say I had. 600 something calories, I think, for breakfast. I don't know, probably around 12, 1300 calories because I did have a banana or two and then some honey before the workout pump supplement. So, I mean, that added a couple hundred calories. Not the pump supplement, but the uh, banana and the honey. Let's see, let's look around the field though. How many people? Not a lot of people in the back. Yeah, it's a little concerning. It's a little concerning here today. What do you mean? Just good amount of cars. Uh -huh. Let's see. I'm gonna chug this a bit, sip it, 
listen to some tunes. This is the, actually the most important thing of a lift. Besides the warm up, it's the ritual before. You got to have a time and place where you get prepped, you get ready, but it's fun. You know, you listen to music, watch your videos, whatever it is. Sometimes I like watching other people train. I love and listening to music at the same time just gets me going, gets in the mode. If I know I'm gonna be training leg press, sometimes I like watching someone else do leg press as well, like Dorian Yates, and I'm like, okay, you know what? Gotta get in the zone for that, because leg press is gonna be pretty tough today. Did I even go through my lips today? I don't think I said, I, yeah, I just said deadlifts. So, deadlifts, mm -hmm. leg press. I'm switching it up, so I'm not gonna be doing squats right now. Yeah, I know, I know. And complete rookie mistake, I'm, I'm not embarrassed to say it, Last time I did this leg press, I was like, man, this leg press kind of sucks. What, it just doesn't feel right. There's like no range of motion. This is completely whack. And then I watched a Dorian Yates video of him explaining, no, you have to pop the back lever down, put it all the way back. And I was like, yeah, I completely forgot that step. So now we're back in the gym. And um, I tried it out with the back pad fully down. Felt normal. Because sometimes I'd pay attention to it. Sometimes I wouldn't. I guess this time I was like, nah, I don't even need to look at it. So after leg press, going to blast out some leg extensions. And then we will do hamstring curls, laying hamstring curls. And then some calves. Abs, we'll see. Not that I neglect ab training. I always do some ab training, but it kind of gets to the point where I'm so tired after the workout putting everything forth. I don't know if I'm going to have enough energy for abs at the end. You know, that's just me. We'll do one set of deads, build up to a top set. Maybe one set of everything actually really here today. Maybe two sets with a lang hamstring curl just to get a little bit more volume since deadlift doesn't really work the hamstrings as much. So that's probably the only thing I'll do one all out set with is, or I'm sorry, two all out sets because I normally would do a RDL, good morning, or a different hip hinge of, of some sort, stiff like a deadlift, but conventional deadlift is pulling a little bit more of the upper back lats, even a little bit of quad activation too, if you, if you pop it up, but it's very minuscule. So, yeah. Ready for some tunes? Mm -hmm. All right, let's tune out so I can tune in. Mighty heavy, heavier and Heavier than what I'd like right now. 193 and a half. So, gotta get in the mindset here though. Swarm up. <clears throat> okay. Oh, yeah. Felt that one. Lightheadedness after that's crazy. Man, my legs already feel. They already feel it. Oh man. Ah. That makes the legs feel stupid. Especially with that leg press. This absolutely cooks it. <clears throat> Even with this weight, I feel that it's like crazy pump. Just 180. Just 180. Just something light, you know. Oh 
more set. Hold on. Damn. <clears throat> Mind-numbingly hard, but I mean, a little drop set rest pause style, something like that. Dropping the weight. Oh, super slow. Mm. Oh, that's it. Oh my gosh, man. You can't fathom how much that burns until you do it. All right, we got leg curls next. All right, so we got like 140 pounds right here. We're gonna do two sets. Um, I'm doing two sets just because of those deadlifts. I didn't really get to push myself because that felt stupid hard. So we're gonna grind this out here, slow and controlled. <clears throat> On my bulk days, I was doing like 165, but it's a little different right now. Or oh, I'm doing 140, not 145. <clears throat> nice and slow. There's like pain in my front, <sighs> my quad, bro. Not a bad pain, but it's like, <clears throat> hold on. <laughs> I'm deliriously tired. The pump was so great with extensions, leg press, that it felt friggin' so tight doing that. So. We'll do one more of that. And then calves and call it a day. Let's see what else I got left in the tank for this dude. Today's workout was a little bit rough. Slow and controlled always. Hold that at the top. Let's do a drop sound at. Take a look at the calves from the back. This one. You were just crushing his eyes. And if they don't look good on camera, you know I'm deleting. One more. I feel it in my glute, man. The glutes are just trying to take over. Oh my gosh, that's it. Yep. Oh yeah, I know that's the angle. see me very well right now but we are on our way to Chipotle gonna grub down workout was definitely success my legs feel it man like crazy and uh, <clears throat> just get so tired 
you hit like a wall. Especially with that leg press, I was trying to get down as far as I could, where my quads weren't necessarily like hitting the chest, but they were on the side of it. What I was saying is I feel like part of working out is a lot to do with like mental <coughs> strength, I guess. Because today at least, I just feel like super, I feel yeah. really tired, honestly. Yeah. Um, and there was a lot of moments in today's workout where I was like, oh my gosh, like, yeah. I know after this workout I'm gonna feel good, but right now I wish I could just stop. You know? <clears throat> yeah, a few and far between do I have those type of workouts where I don't want to hit it. I mean, there's definitely tough spots. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Is that the Twilight soundtrack? Is this what this is? This <laughs> theme from Twilight. Oh, it just skipped. Oh, it just skipped. <laughs> Twilight soundtrack does go hard though. Yeah, it does. But uh, yeah, there's definitely moments. And most of those moments come from leg day. Squats, man. Ew, oh my squats, gosh. Dude. I love them, but I... I hate <laughs> Love them, them, but I hate them. <clears throat> I like Smith Machine squats a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, I used to do a lot of high rep, a lot of high rep work when I was younger with squats. I do like sets of 15 to 20 reps. That's honestly how I grew my legs. In the beginning. 15 to 20 reps? Yeah, like just... Heavy, heavy, or...? No, well, no. I mean, you can't do heavy, heavy weight relative to your strength and do 15 to 20 reps. That's... For you... If someone's cranking up 15, 20 reps, I couldn't even necessarily consider that heavy for them. That's more like... That's just lightweight, technically. Even if it's... Would be heavy for you, for them, it's lightweight. Mm -hmm. But, um... Now the 15 to 20 would be like with 135. Oops, sorry, I gotta take the sharp turn. I just built up my way, so I was doing like full reps with 95 pounds, I remember at first. A full rep. And then I was like, okay, let's do like 135 for sets. And then instead of just adding, adding weight, I saw a bunch of the bodybuilders doing pretty high reps. And I was like, you know, it makes sense. We're on our legs every day, so that's why we need high reps. Mm -hmm. Whatever. And I mean, I did grow my legs that way. You know, was that just because it was high reps or was it because I was really new to training and I'm gonna respond to any stimulus? That's given, especially if I'm getting in my protein. But um, leg press felt pretty good today. I mean, my legs just felt incredibly weak after my extensions. The plan was to do one all out set of everything, but since deadlifts did not go planned, uh, did not go as planned at all. We said no to that. Like I did 400, 405 a couple weeks ago, and it is a couple weeks ago, for like, and this isn't a max by any means, for three reps, just to, just to feel it. And that was after I did 275 paused reps on squats, pausing for like a second, second and a half easy. That was after, uh, two sets of laying hamstring curls to failure. And then I got the bright idea. I was like, you know what, let me just do some um, some deadlifts. And I already had it planned in my head that I want to do them. But not necessarily for that workout. And a lot of people, they throw deadlifts in for their back days because they're like, oh, it gauges your last, but not really, man. I mean, deadlifts, can it build your upper back? I guess, yeah, it can, right? It can. Is it like the best thing for it? It's not necessarily isolating it. It's definitely gonna build your hamstrings, your quads, your lower back a whole heck of a lot. So it's when people use it for a back builder, you know, I, I never use it for that. I mean, people throw it in their back workouts. I understand why, because you can still definitely get some meaty upper back development with it, but I don't think as much as like, let's say a barbell row for the upper back or chest supported. But we're about to go in Chipotle, um, double chicken bowl, white rice, black beans, whole heck of a lot of cheese. No apples, uh, no apple juice though for today. I normally get an apple juice. Why not? Um, I'm just too uh, too far in the day with my calories. It'd just be too much carbs at this point. You know what I'm saying? Too many calories. So let's go get this grub. I have a Strong feeling this line is going to be crazy long. I feel like it's not. Well, let's let's hope not. It is 
is grub time. You know how we get down watching the show. I'm about to watch my let's eat. So it is nighttime. Chipotle meal is pounded. And we are about to go watch some Friday the 13th. Pan the camera to the... Pan the camera. <laughs> but see, this is the 2009 version, okay? Oh my God. This is the Michael Bay one. Okay, that's the solid one. The old ones kind of suck. This one, pretty darn good. I like how they made Jason absolutely massive in the movie. Same thing with the Rob Zombie, Michael Myers movies. They made them absolutely ridiculously big. That may have been on the Berserker program. If you look at Jason's neck, his neck is literally wider than the hockey mask in the movie. You don't see it here, but maybe I'll edit it in this clip. His neck is ridiculously wide. That dude could probably neck curl a tree trunk. He's out in the forest. Here's the thing, like, who would you pick, though? I wanted this in the comment section. Who would you pick? If it's Michael Myers, Rob Zombie version, and Jason Voorhees, Michael Bay version, out of those two, who would win? They are both unstoppable. It's like unstoppable object meets an immovable So wait, hold whatever. on. I zoned out. Who did you say? Michael Myers versus who? Michael Myers versus Jason, but the Michael Myers is the one from the Rob Zombie film. Not the not the original Michael Myers, you know what I'm saying? Because then Michael Myers and Jason are like both. Oh, You're so like close. It. I just realized I had this zoomed into you. Well. <laughs> how how ridiculous was it? <laughs> it was wasn't there? that ridiculous. Okay. But here's a little hack for you guys. Reach my bag of goodies. Vapor inhaler. Right here, dude. Yeah, Take a hit of this. <laughs> that is. Makes me feel like I have like a third nostril because I do have a deviated septum. So you do that along with some of this right here, some vapor rub. Like, this is a nighttime routine. I don't know why. I just dig it. I, uh,. I had a cold about a week ago, so I always had to do this. So I had to put it like on the chest, on the back, you know. Because mm -hmm. when someone falls asleep, <laughs> you get a good view. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's movie time. But I will catch you guys later. Tomorrow we're going to be doing shoulder day. I'm going to record practically every meal uh, from start to finish. And then this video will be up tomorrow. So we got a pretty busy day tomorrow. Shoulders, we're going to crush it though. We got Smith Machine Shoulder Press. Pick it up from there. So I will catch you guys next video. Peace.